Hi, I'm Nicole Aslan, author of Murder at First Pitch. I am the social media and website coordinator for the New England Crime Bake. And here are my two truths and a lie. One, I was born on the U.S. Naval sub base in Groton, Connecticut. Two, I danced the Macarena on the New Britain Rock Cats dugout. And three, I speak three languages. Hi there, my name is Brenda Buchanan and I am the debut author coordinator for Crime Bake. Thanks for playing Two Truths and a Lie. Here are mine. My marriage certificate is in both French and English because I was married in beautiful Quebec province. I collect antique telephones. And sorry to say, I'm allergic to cats. Thanks so much for playing. Hi, my name's Amy Collins, and I'm in charge of sponsorships for Crime Bake this year. And here are my two truths and one lie. Three things about me. Let's see which one's true. First thing about me is I am a classically trained opera singer. That's how I started my career. I actually went out and toured with an opera company doing a piece by Rossini, and I absolutely loved it. Second thing about me is that I've testified in front of Congress. I was actually invited quite a few years ago to testify on behalf of the NEA, and I got to go to our nation's capital and sit next to the likes of Bill Moyers and LeVar Burton. It was wonderful. And the third thing about me is I once had, yes, I was a smoker, not a, a great part of my story, but I once had Kurt Vonnegut bum a smoke off me. Sitting outside, I was a sales rep for Barnes & Noble, and at the annual uh, Man of the Year dinner, that Barnes and Noble's president was being feted at, Kurt Vonnegut was there. I was outside smoking and he bummed a cigarette off me. So those are my three truths. Which one is a lie? I'm Robin Facer and I'm on the planning committee for Crime Bake, both the live in-person conference and the online version. Here are three things you might not know about me, only two of which are true. Number one, I was part of the team that created House Hunters for HGTV. Number two, at one point, I was the only female director for the HBO series Game of Thrones. And number three, I was once on Sylvester Stallone's family Christmas card list, and I still have the Christmas cards to prove it. Puppet Bridgie here with today's edition of Two Truths and a Lie, Bridget Finnegan edition. Number one, Bridget may speak three languages. Number two, Bridget is an illustrator and animator, as well as being an author. Number three, Bridget is the youngest of eight children. Hi, New England Crime Bakers. I'm Connie Johnson Hamley, co-chair of New England Crime Bake, and this is my two truths and one lie. Number one, I married my stalker. Number two, at age 13, I was a nationally ranked speedwalking champion. And number three was I propositioned a cop to get out of a speeding ticket. So you decide which one is the lie. Hi, my name is Frances McNamara. I write the Emily Cabot Historical Mystery Series. And for Crime Bake, I've been working on the various websites. So two lies and one truth. Here they are for me. I ran the Chicago Marathon more than one time, twice actually. I sailed in Bermuda Race Week. I speak Chinese. Hi, I'm Inch Pompiano from the Planning Committee. I have two truths and one lie. Which is it? One, I saw the Beatles in 1965 at Shea Stadium. Two, I went to the original Woodstock in 1969. And three, a paper I wrote on video surveillance established me as a privacy expert, and it's been quoted in newspapers and court cases around the world. I'm Mo Walsh. I work on crime make publicity, photography, and the Flash Words contest. I went to high school in St. Louis with Jan Garavaglia, the star of Dr. G, medical examiner. I witnessed a crime from my bedroom window, which led to the arrest of the criminals. I used a press pass to get a photograph of the President of the United States and was almost knocked over by a Secret Service agent. Hi, my name is Leslie Wheeler. I'm a member of the New England Crime Bait Committee, and I am here to tell you 
two truths and one lie about myself. My grandfather was a United States Senator from Montana. I have a black belt in karate. One of my nonfiction books won an award. Thank you.